Welcome to the Martha Field Museum. The next 15 minutes I'm going to tell you something about it. The museum located near the Hangar 1 is one of the largest freestanding structures in the world. The Martha Field was dedicated in 1933 after it had been purchased for, for about half million dollars and then transferred for Navy for one dollar. The field named after Admiral Muffet, who was the World War I hero who received the Medal of Honor for his heroic actions. And also this museum has a separate section for Admiral Muffet. This is an air balloon basket. The museum also filled with many uniforms from various periods. Women contributed significantly to the administration of the Moffat Field and the overall success of the Navy. This room dedicated to USS Macon. The airship built in 1933. In 1935, due to strong winds, the USS Macon crashed into the Pacific Ocean of the coast of Monterey, California. This models of the Soviet Union submarines. The Lockheed P-3 Orion was the primary maritime petrol aircraft flow at Moffett Field since the early 60s. The plane was designed to locate enemy ships and submarines in the West Pacific Ocean. With a crew of up to 12, the Orion could spend over 8 hours on station persecuting enemy vessels. With the demise of the Macon, the base was transferred to the U.S. Army in 1935, serving as training airfield for the Army Air Corps. Over 5,000 personnel and 300 officers called Moffett their home. At the US entered World War II, the base was given back to the Navy, serving as a stopping point to naval missions into the Pacific Theater. After World War II, the base became the Navy's West Coast Master Fighter and Attack Base through the early 60s.
The base was then utilized as a testing area for the Navy fighters. We slowly move into NASA's section of the museum. Starting in 1939, NASA AMES Institute would conduct aerospace technology research on the Moffett Field property. In 1951, three wind tunnels were cons constructed that would be used to test experimental planes, spacecraft, and various military aircraft. NASA would become responsible for NAS Moffett Field in 1994 after the base was officially retired. This section dedicated to Francis Gary Powers, who was a US pilot whose U-2 Dragon Lady plane was shut down over the Soviet Union in 1960s, leading to a major Cold War incident. This is a photo camera used in U-2 Dragon Lady planes. This corridor leading to the room with trains. I have a separate video on channel about this room. The museum also has the open air exhibits. This armored infantry fighting vehicle or AAFV developed in the 1980s and used in various international conflicts. And this is M113, it's a versatile, fully tracked armored personal carrier used by US Army since the 1960s. Yes, this vehicle also based on M113. The museum gave an opportunity for going inside the front part of the Lockheed P3 Oreo. Also, you can discover the many planes located outside. This is a typical plane engine. This is a tech helicopter.
McDonnell Douglas FA-18. This particular plane used by NASA. This starfighter transferred from German Air Force to NASA in 1975. This is a U-2 Dragon Lady plane. They were designed during Cold War to overfly the Soviet Union to gather intelligence. That would end the story and I'm driving back home. If you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel to get more videos. Bye-bye.